Hey everyone, it's Miss Bell here from the Science Lab, and in my video today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the life cycle of animals. Now, what is a life cycle? Well, a life cycle is just the different stages that an animal goes through from when it is born to when it passes away and dies. And during these stages, for the most part, animals are going to have very, very similar stages. So, you are going to be born, you're going to grow up, you're going to become an adult, you're going to um, reproduce and create your own offspring or babies, and then eventually you're going to pass away. And then the cycle begins over and over and over, generation after generation after generation. Now, when we talk about adults and their offspring, sometimes these two animals can have similarities. Sometimes they can have differences. And what I mean by similarities is what kind of color is that animal and maybe what kind of shape does that animal have. So let's look at, a, at an example of animals with their offspring and the adult where they look very, very similar. Here's um, our little kiddo. It's a kid, <laughs> it's a baby goat, and here's our adult. I would say they look exactly alike for the most part. The shape of their bodies is the same and the outside coloring of their body is the same. They both have two ears, really cute noses, really thick um, kind of this like fur or hair on their body, and other than our horns, they look alike, but let me show you an example of an animal that doesn't quite look the same from the adults versus the offspring. So up here, these are our adult flamingos. And here is what their offspring looks like as they grow older and they change throughout their life cycle. So a newborn flamingo is going to have the same shape as their parent, but the coloring of their body and their little feathers is completely different than those adult flamingos. As a flamingo gets older and older and older, they're going to eat a particular amount of food, and that type of food is what changes the color ah, of their feathers of their body, and that's how they get pink. So we can see how this particular living organism changes throughout its life cycle. So one particular animal I want to show the life cycle of is a chicken. Dun, 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 dun. A chicken has four stages during its life. In the first stage, eggs are going to come from a female hen. Um, those eggs are going to be sat on from the female hen and almost incubated um, by adding warmth to those eggs. After a few weeks, those eggs are going to hatch into hatchlings. That means that they are breaking out of those eggshells and they look completely different compared to adult chickens. They're kind of grayish in color, they're very weak, they can't fly, they can barely, barely walk, but eventually they're going to grow into chicks, really, really yellow, fluffy, cute baby chicks. And as baby chicks get older, they're going to grow into adults. A female chicken is a hen, and a male chicken is a rooster. And in this adult stage, they are going to come together and reproduce to create a new offspring and the female hen is going to lay eggs. The eggs are going to hatch into hatchlings. The hatchlings are going to get bigger and turn into chicks. The chicks are going to get older and turn into adults. The adults are going to reproduce and create offspring and lay an egg. And it's just a complete, 
complete life cycle over and over and over. And this is only with chickens. So that example of a life cycle of a chicken, the newly born chick looks very, very similar to an adult chicken. The color is not quite the same, but the body shape is definitely the same. But I want to talk about an animal where the newly born offspring looks nothing similar to that adult animal. Can you take a guess? What is your prediction of what animal I'm about to talk about? Mm. Would you say a frog? <laughs> well, with the life cycle of a frog, there are going to be four main stages. The first stage is an egg. Next stage, the second stage, is a tadpole. Then, after that, the third stage is a froglet. And finally, that fourth stage is an adult, or as we know it, a frog. Now, let's take a look at what those four stages look like. And let me show you how the newborn offspring look nothing similar to how the adults look. Here are those eggs. They're going to hatch into tadpoles. Ah, this looks nothing like this. The newly born tadpoles aren't going to start with any legs, but eventually they're going to start growing two legs toward the back of their body. Those tadpoles are going to grow older and turn into froglets. Now, it's getting similar and closer to an adult frog, but we're not there yet because my froglet has a tail. As my animal gets older, 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 it's then going to turn into a frog. And guess what? Two frogs, one male, one female, are going to come together, reproduce, and lay eggs. Those eggs are going to hatch. They're going to turn into tadpoles. The tadpoles are going to grow older into this kind of this young adult almost. Uh, my froglet, and then my froglet is going to turn into an older adult. So many fun things to learn about in regards to life cycles. I hope you enjoyed my video. I will see y'all next time. Bye!